Hi, my loves. Welcome to your reading. So today we're going to take a look and find out what's really going on with your person right now. Okay, so keep in mind it is going to be a general read. So if you pick a pile and it doesn't resonate, feel free to take a look at another pile or you can check out all three or it just may not be your message today. It's okay because these are general. Okay, so use your intuition and I will have timestamps below. If you guys are interested in personals, all that is below as well. All right, we'll dive in with pile one. Hey, pile one, welcome to your reading. All right, let's take a look and find out what is really going on with your person right now. Okay, so it is going to be general. So if the cards are coming out, they're not resonating. Feel free to take a look at another pile. All right, pile one. Let's see your person's energy right now. What, what's going on with them? Okay, well, we have the phoenix. Okay, start off with a spirit card here. The gazelle. Dingre. The wolf. And the fox. Okay. I like this. Uh, part one, it feels like your person may be going through some sort of, um, I don't know if it's an awakening. It definitely could be. I mean, the phoenix is uh, the root chakra. There's something here about possibly this person was nervous about some sort of commitment, uh, relationship, right? But we see that this is changing because we have the fox energy over here. So this is signifying a monogamous partner, right? The fox is a wise teacher, but it's also a very loyal, uh, dedicated life partner here, okay? And we see this is the root chakra. So I feel like with the gazelle, the wolf, I think there was somebody here that you're dealing with may have had a sense of pride, may have wanted to keep their independence, right? They were scared of being vulnerable, already getting that right off the bat. So you're dealing with somebody here um, clearly sees your potential, that one, but I think their ego, uh, fear of commitment, fear of emotions probably <laughs> got in the way. We do have the stingray at the center though. So this is actually choosing to stand up for yourself, have a backbone here. Uh, and it does also signifying having to choose between something that we were comfortable in uh, versus something that's new territory for us. Okay. And it does require us to have a backbone, right? To, to make this choice. So Overall, what's going on with this person when I'm already getting pile one, if you're resonating, is that we have somebody here who in the past, I think they ran away at the thought of uh, anything long term, anything serious. But here they are. They're coming. They're coming around is what I'm getting. So let's see the stingray energy. Why is it here? The seven of wands. Mm. Feels like somebody's getting a backbone. I don't know. Ace of cups and the star. Okay. Yeah, pile one, look here. I don't know who you're dealing with. This person is in love with you. I do think that they tried to maybe run away from this. They tried to keep the game face on and not let you get close, not let you get in. But here they are. They found themselves in love and it's like you're the star. And the page of pinnacles behind that and the ten of cups in the world. This is cute. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm totally getting the vibe here. Um, I think that your person may have been a little maybe emotionally immature here in the past, um, always knew your value though, right? You have, what I'm getting is you forced this person to maybe, I don't know, view things differently now. Uh, take a stand for what it is they want because for some of you, you may have had to pull back your energy because I do feel like this person was uh, super guarded here at one point with the emotions, really not wanting to let you in. <laughs> but here we have the change occurring and... I think it's all because of you, Pile One. So, oh, wow. All right. Well, tell us about the Phoenix. Let's see this one. Why is the Phoenix here? It's Temperance, the Fool, and the Three of Swords. Five of Cups and the Empress. Somebody let you guys down here. Um, yeah, Pile One. This this could be somebody that you've been holding out for really hoping that they get their shit together and uh, take this leap forward with you. But it feels like in the past, they, they held back. They held themselves back from doing this. It put them, by the way, in the Three of Swords, Five of Cups, because they know your value, the Empress. We do have the lovers behind that. So, you know, I don't know, followed by the Seven of Cups. I don't know if this person in the past thought it was better for them to not commit, not settle down, keep their independence and still keep their options whatever happened here, I think that's the catalyst that changed this person and made them realize your value. Okay. This person ran away. 
it didn't serve them. They they ended up in the five of cups and the three of swords. Okay, so so they know your value. There is a connection here. Um, and we did see them viewing you as the ace of cups and the star. So I'm not surprised to see the empress and the lovers. No, <laughs> I think this person may have thought the grass was greener in their own backyard, as opposed to having to create um, an amazing, you know, thing here with you. Uh, it just wasn't the case. So why the gazelle? The sun. Okay, well, the king of pentacles, ten of wands. That's the problem here. That's exactly what I'm saying. You could be dealing with the earth sign here. It's like they knew. They knew what you meant to them, right? The sun, like everything. So it's like this person in the gazelle energy. It's like they could feel it. But then the hidden energy is that king of pentacles, ten of wands. So, you know, I, I don't know that this person was ready to commit right when you when you met them, when you guys were together. For some of you, there was an ending. We have the chariot and the wheel, but something's changing. So, <laughs> All right, pile one, let's go to the tarot. We're going to find out a little more about what's really going on with the person. All right, pile one, let's see. what. Tell us more about what's going on with their person here right now. Okay, we have the daughter of wands, followed by the three of cups, followed by the son of swords. Okay, so, so that's the knight of swords, right? And then we have over here the daughter of wands is the page of wands, three of cups, and, and then we have the knight of swords. So this is all communication. Um, I just feel like, you know, your person feels like a little bit of a novice over here. <laughs> uh, they want to talk. And for some of you, there has been little to no contact. But I do think that this person may have a tendency here to, I don't know, maybe speak a little brashly. Uh, kind of, I'm getting the vibe that they, they're used to getting their way here. So they may have a hard time when it comes to being emotionally vulnerable, which we kind of gathered that from their uh, their animal spread here. So why the Son of Swords? Three of Wands. Interesting. Knight of Pentacles and the Hermit. Yeah. This person knows they want a future here with you. Right? And for some of you, there is going to need to be a reconciliation before that can even happen. Okay? Um, again, Paul, and I'm getting a lot of you trigger this the phoenix rising thing here with your person because of some sort of separation okay why is the three of cups here it's that nine of swords so they're all up in their head about talking to you like is this gonna work should i just rush in here you know like the owl with the sword and and tell how one that they're the one and i effed up and you know so we see them in a state, they're kind of in a state right now. Uh, I do feel like with the page of wands over here, um, this is trying to come up with ideas outside the box to, to kind of get back in your energy, I feel like. So let's see what's read with that one. Yeah, father of wands. Okay. You know, I, I do believe I was correct in the energy read here with your person. They are coming out as um, a little bit, I you know, they're focused. It, it feels like a very... 3D oriented person who kind of was self focused here before. They may have wore a mask, but we can clearly see with this lightning right here is what I'm getting. It's like something has triggered them, okay, into switching gears. And this could have happened all of a sudden. So I don't know. I mean, some of them may have had a dream. Some of them may have seen you with somebody else. <laughs> uh, either way, it's like this person does does need to grow up a little bit. I feel like they do want to message you, but. Mm, it's almost like if they do, they know they're going to have to be completely honest here with you, Pile One. So that could be the holdup as to why we, we haven't seen a lot of communication yet while they're still over here uh, in this. Why is Page of Wands here? Mm, we got the Two of Swords. Right. This person's at a crossroads. Like, for some of them, they don't know if it's over. Is it too late? Did I already lose my Empress here while I was over here, you know, playing around? <laughs> doing what I wanted to do. Uh, it's almost like for some of them, the eclipse right here was that come to Jesus moment for them. Like either step up your game now or lose pile one. They're having a hard time with it, right? The king of wands always does when he's put into this position, gets very defensive, right? Because it's the battle between the heart and the ego and the ego always wants to win. 
So I could see why we see the the Knight of Swords here at the center because it's a little bit, I'm getting that. It's almost like I want you, I need to come in and get you, but also at the same time, can't act too, can't act too boldly here. You know, scare pile went off. Begin to, and I am being pulled back to the steam gray at the center of your person's energy. There's something they want to say. And I do think that at this point, some of them are very intimidated <laughs> uh, to talk to you because, you know, they made some bad choices in the past. How do I explain myself and come correct here to the Empress who already kind of knows, you know, why I acted the way I did? Uh, it's a little, a little egoic um, thing going on here with the person. But again, I do think they are getting some backbone, so they're working up the courage. So three cups, why is it here? It's the six of wands, so they really want this with you. They're hoping it's not too late. I'm, I'm getting like this person either had a missed opportunity with you or this is somebody who you were already with. There's been some sort of separation, little to no contact here. They know what they want. It's just a matter of them getting real, you know, letting that guard down, telling you what it actually is this time, not trying to pull the shade, <laughs> pull the shade in front of your eyes. Okay. Why is the uh, Knight of Swords here? Yeah, Father of Swords. So King of Swords out here. So we've got air and fire. Yeah, I am. Um, I think that for some of you, this person may have some sort of outburst or they have in the past they could have an issue with anger i don't know i mean gonna be different for all of you um it's it's cards of action they have something they want to say right the gist of it is they have something they want to say this ties us over here to that stingray right so this is a person who who really knows that they can't approach you guys as the king of wands they can't wear that mask they can't act with that facade up anymore it's not going to work they have to think about this logically but they can't be too again harsh with their words so okay well let's just see why why is king of swords here eight of pentacles seven of cups nine of pentacles four of cups four of pentacles the sun king of pentacles hmm this person's weighing their option right now. It's like, you know, I think that they thought the grass was greener. Like I said, you know, on their own, being this independent uh, energy without you still keeping their options here. But it doesn't look like it worked out. It's like four of cups, four of pentacles. That served me no good. <laughs> you know, the sun and the king of pentacles. It's like this person sees what they want here. They've gotten real. Uh, I think they may have tried to walk away, but their their heart, their head, it, it just keeps telling them to take the mask off and get real here before you lose pile one. So they're having fears around that it is really what I'm getting. Mm, could be ego death. We do see that um, the phoenix over there with the root chakra paired with the fox. So I'm just saying, could be nine of swords. Why is it here? Yeah, the moon. I'm not surprised. This person, they keep a lot in. I don't know. You probably haven't got too much of the truth, if any, from them here. <laughs> so it may all pour out here at once. When this person finally does come back around here, Powen, it may just be like the floodgates because they know what they want with you. And I think that this person's weighed out their approach to the point that they're just like, you know, I, I just need to, I just need to do it. Otherwise, they're sitting in their emotions right now. And it's not typical for this person. I can already tell you that. And, you know, the the king of wands, king of swords, they're not crying over here. But this person right here, they are. Because they feel like there may not be another chance to reconcile with you guys here and get that six of wands. I mean, a lot of them are wondering, like, do you see me Do you see me as, as this? Page of wands, untrustworthy here. Uh, very novice at, at these connections i mean a lot of them did leave a bad taste in your mouth pile one it just is how it is but you're here watching the reading so i think that you that you'd probably give them another chance if they came correct all right why the king of wands the empress mm, you can't fool an empress here that's exactly what this person tried to do they tried to downplay emotions in the past they tried to act like they weren't going to commit that they didn't want to that you guys were just maybe just toy i mean for some of you 
it's just kind of the energy, but it's like you, you shook at them here, pile one, you know, the mask is falling off. It's like this tower is hitting. This person is now seeing how immature they were when it came to being around an amazing energy like you. You see the moons are connected here. It's all about you, pile one. Person's all up in their feels. They're like, no, oh, my whole world's falling apart. Who I thought I was is not going to be that anymore. And again, we know we go back to the stingray and this is why it is choosing to leave the old for the new, right? Having that backbone to actually do it. And I do feel like for some of you, this person has energies around them that um, really keep them in that, that king of wands, right? Where it's, it's all just that we don't need to be spiritual. We don't need to go below the surface. We're good. Two of swords. Why is it here? Whoa. Six of swords. Justice. Page of swords, page of wands, little pages everywhere here. Oh, one, this person is watching you. Look, I don't care how they come off in the 3D. You know, they could be a boss. They could be business owner. They could come off as very alpha, right? But with you, you intimidate them. Okay, you see right through their BS and it makes them uncomfortable here. But you are the one that has sparked this change. I'm just getting the sense here. This person probably was not looking to commit at all any time any time in the near future for them with this kind of self-serving energy that that i'm getting from the spread but with you you came along and uh, probably designed that way too by the way and you woke them up so they're at a crossroads clearly they need to say something or they could lose you is what i'm getting here pile one and they know this three of cups it's the fool and the three of swords this person does feel like an idiot it's like they want to save face but at the same time they know if they take that road this time with you you're gone there's no second chances here if they stay silent if they stay and deny the feelings that they're feeling it's going to put them keep them in this energy i mean it's the fool of the three of swords this person needs to fix something here with you they need to take that leap they need to come forward it's the four of swords in the wheel Two of Cups, Two of Wands. Oh, they've been watching you. I mean, we already know that. It's like they're waiting for the right time to do this. Um, how about the Three of Swords? Why? The Queen of Swords, the Lovers. Page of Cups, Ace of Swords. They know that you guys have boundaries up here. It's really what it comes down to. Um, and, and they're almost preparing to meet the Queen of Swords here instead of the Empress. Because I do think that you guys have given this person plenty of that inverse energy and it's kind of gone unrequited. So, you know, when that happens, uh, there goes a valve. It turns off, right? So that's what you guys kind of did. I think this person knows it. There's an intimidation factor here because they know a conversation is coming. An apology for a lot of them to you with the Page of Cups, Ace of Swords. Mm, this could come out of nowhere for you too. I think this person just may just do it because they're over here thinking way too much. And when we do that, uh, the Eight of Swords is close around, right? Still, though, look, with the with the lovers here and the Queen of Swords, it's almost like this person that uh, you set boundaries here, Pile One, they like turn them on even more to you. It's like it, it really made them notice your, your value then. So if they didn't see it before and you guys did do that, you pulled that energy back, they felt it. They know. That's what triggered this whole phoenix rising in this person. Okay, why the moon? It's the world. Yeah. They need to get real here. Hey, there's fears, sure. I mean, you know, you go from one way of living to another. It's always fears, but a cycle needs to close out because it's not working. It's keeping them up here in this, like, bleh. It's the sun and the four of cups. They can't, they can't deny this anymore here. Pile one. <laughs> and I do think that this person did try to mask it, but it's it's not going away. So, um, Nine of Pentacles, Four of Wands. What they're thinking here is trading in their independence for a solid commitment with you. And I was already getting that from the original the original spread. As I say that, the star behind there. Okay. <laughs> well, Pawan, they know that you're the one. And now I, I think this person really just needs to find the words to tell you. Okay. And, and also show you because... Clearly, we can see that we can see that they've had to do some growing here. So, 
All right, guys. Well, I'm going to leave that here. This was this was specific. Love to hear if this resonated with any of you guys out there. Um, and if you guys enjoy the reading, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you're interested in personals, all that is below. All right, my loves. Until next time, I'll talk soon. Bye, bye, one. Hi, Pile 2. Welcome to your reading. All right, let's take a look and find out uh, what's really going on with your person right now, okay? So keep in mind it's going to be general, so if the first few cards are coming out, they're not resonating, feel free to take a look at another pile. All right, Pile 2. Uh, let's see your person's energy towards this connection. All right, we've got the cheetah coming out. The scorpion. Oh, my goodness. Pile 2. Who you got here? <laughs> let's keep going. Okay. Whew. I was, I was getting worried. I just pulled the last two. It's a dolphin, by the way. Um, the unicorn. What, what's going on? And the spider. Okay. Well, you've got somebody here who, first of all, pal two, let me just say they're highly attracted to you. Um, we got the masculine energy out. So we've got fire, we've got water, but then we have earth as well. So it's almost like this person's trying to figure out a way to work on this connection. We have the dolphin, which if you follow me, you know, this is like the unexpected blessing that changes our life. And for it to be at the center, when it's right next to this unicorn, which is the third eye awakening, um, it's big. So something big's going on here. However, I will say with a scorpion, I think your person may have been defensive to, to letting this happen, to really feeling um, the really just spiritual nature of this connection at the beginning but it feels like you know they may have tried to run i don't know very attracted to you this is nothing but heat passion fire desire <laughs> um you know but i i do think maybe maybe your person's third eye is awakening maybe they're real defensive to it too because i mean if you've ever went through uh, any kind of spiritual awakening it can be uncomfortable it's kind of the vibes i'm getting here but with the spider it's almost like this person knows that you are their reward and it's almost like you weave this web here, pile two. They tried to not fall into it. They did. And you got them now. Okay, so they're, they're not running. <laughs> they're actually very just, I think they're sitting with this connection right now. The emotions, the intensity of what's going on here. Why the dolphin? King of wands and the knight of wands. Okay. Strength in the four of pentacles. Okay. Yep. I was already getting this. Listen, this person here he could be dealing with the fire sign. Doesn't have to be, but we did we do see the the fire out here. Um, Leo at the bottom of the deck with the four of pentacles. Yep. Okay. By the way, death behind that in the Knight of Swords. Mm hmm. I don't know if you changed a player here, pile two, or this person just. I'm already getting before they met you. I don't think they were very into the spiritual stuff. They probably thought it was woo woo. No, I don't believe in soulmates. I don't believe in any of this. And then boom, here you come, right? Now they have a perspective shift on connections like these. Uh, however, with the strength card and the four of pentacles, yeah, this person tried to run from this at first, or they tried to run from you. You know, so I don't know if you noticed this person being hot and cold, right? If that's the case, there was too much attraction and pull to this connection that they could explain. And so a lot of them may have pulled back, right? They may have held back from this um, again. And I'm getting because the cheat is going the other way with the spider. It's like, I'm not falling into your web, but they, they fell. <laughs> so, you know, it doesn't matter. The third eye is, is triggered into knowing that there's something more to this connection than meets the eye than that they've ever thought was possible. A lot under the surface here that they that they're not uh, comfortable with <laughs> but we have death in the knight of swords i just i feel like this person can't stay away they already know where they're being pulled to and yeah you know they may have resisted but you're too hot here pile two and your energy is just too magnetic for them not to just be pulled into this trap <laughs> it's not a trap but you know what i'm saying into your web it's you got them <laughs> i don't know who this is mm -hmm. wow okay well tell us about the scorpion here because Hmm. Definitely very, like, highly attracted to you. Um, I don't know if we're dealing with twin flame stuff here or, like, high-level soulmate, but this typically is kind of how it works. So, I, you know, wouldn't be surprised. Let's see Scorpion. Why is it here? Okay, well, I didn't even shuffle, but the Four of Swords, Five of Swords, and the Hermit wanted to <laughs> wanted to flip out. Yeah, I can I can read those too because this does make sense. It's like if this person pulled back from you, if they went on the defense ever, if they if they quit talking, 
we, they clearly know it was that five of swords. It was, it was short-sighted, you know, they thought that that was going to keep them from falling for you. Like they could just avoid this connection or something when clearly with the hermit, they knew they couldn't the whole time. It's like, r why try to fight fate here? That's really what I'm getting. All right, the unicorn, let's see. The two of wands. Mm -hmm. So you've opened up this person's eyes to a new, a brand new world, a new future. I think their life was going one way. Now with this connection with you, it's presenting a new opportunity for them to go down a different path here. Something that I don't think they saw was possible, but now they do. They're, they're starting to see it. Yeah, I think they ran from it because maybe there was a lot involved to, to making this work, which we're right with the dolphin. It's not always, it doesn't come in always the way we expect it to or the right time. So, but nonetheless, it's undeniable. So, seven of cups, nine of cups. This person is questioning where they want to be. They know, they know where the true happiness lies. Temperance in the world. I feel like they they may have been waiting here. They may, like I said, we we already talked about this. There's no way they're not coming coming for this connection, though. It, it like I said, it's too, it's too much. They they have to explore it. And if they ran from it, mm, no, cheetah. Let's see, the four of pentacles. I'm telling you, this person just tried to run, but they they can't. It's the ace of swords at the bottom and the star. Wow, I get. Uh, I'm getting right away. They knew they knew you were their destiny here as soon as they saw you. But a lot of them held back. They they just did because this was new territory for them. Okay. They hadn't met anybody like you. Um especially if it is this T T F type of connection here, it can definitely be triggering. Um nine of wands in the chariot. Okay. You could have known this person for a while and maybe you know what this is and, and you're waiting for them to make a move and it's been a while for whatever reason they, they held back. All right. Well, pile two, this is going to be specific energy. So let's go, let's go over to the tarot and find out a little more what's really going on here with your person. Cause it does feel like quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, I knew it. I'm not, you know, it's the two of cups. It's soul connection. Well, we, well, we already kind of gathered that. Okay, well, I'm excited. Let's see where this goes. Why the two of cups? What's what, what comes after this? The hangman. Mm hmm. Okay, we have the ten of pentacles. I'm going to pull the top. I'm going to pull the top, top row so we get a clear message here. Why the hangman? What's right with that? The five of pentacles. Yeah, six of pentacles. Okay. Well, for some of you, before I even clarify the ten of pentacles, I do believe, you know, uh, there could be already a foundation traditional thing. Uh, again, with the dolphin energy, <laughs> what I'm saying. Let's see. Why the Ten of Pentacles? The Nine of Cups. High Priestess and the Moon. Seven of Wands, Eight of Cups. Yeah, look, if you're, and I'm not saying this is going to be for everybody, but if your person is connected, if this person is connected here, they're really sitting in the fields here, processing this connection trying to ignore the intuition, but the third eye is, is waking up here. So they can't unsee this seven of wands, ace of cups, even though I think that they tried to again, run away, you know, they tried to do the right thing here, but what, you know, what is deemed right in the 3d doesn't always make sense in the spiritual. So, you know, it makes sense that there is confusion here with them. They're in the hangman, five of pentacles. So again, for a lot of you, little to no contact with this person. Um, two of cups, though, six of pentacles. This is a, a connection that they want to give to. They know that they do. So it doesn't matter how they're acting in the 3D. This person can't escape this. Tell me more about the ten of pentacles. Why, why is this here? Four of wands. Knight of pentacles, two of cups. Four of swords, five of swords, yeah. For others of you where they're not connected, this is uh, somebody here who maybe wasn't looking. They were still in that... Uh, <laughs> That cheetah energy where they were just on the go. They weren't trying to lock it down with anybody. You know, maybe you guys wanted that. Uh, if that's the case here, they've always known that they're going to be coming back here. There's the Knight of Pentacles. It's slow, but it's a solid offer to his soulmate because we have the Two of Cups behind that. So either way, here, Pile 2, there's two messages that can be. And we're going we're gonna to find out which one it is. Okay. Why the Two of Cups? Why is it here? 
Justice. Yeah. So there's, there needs to be something balanced between the two of you. And I do think it's on your person's end. And I think they know that, you know, if they got cold feet, if this connection, the intensity of it scared them and they made bad choices and they made you guys feel like you, you know, you didn't mean anything to them. It is on them to do it here. It's balance, balancing this out. Also, it can imply that they do see you as the Ten of Pentacles as well. So, um, we'll see the hangman. Why is it here? We have Libra Pisces energy out. Two swords. So somebody is at a crossroads. Okay. Um, hmm. Well, we're going to keep going. Why the Ten of Pentacles? It's the devil. So there's either a negative um, attachment around committing, um, being monogamous, being in a committed connection, settling down, or... There's a Ten of Pentacles here that this person is already well aware of is no longer serving their their highest and greatest good. It's the devil. Capricorn energy too. Two of Swords. Why is this strength and the Three of Wands, Six of Wands and the Emperor? Okay, pile two. I mean, you're going to make me read it two ways because I feel like there's two messages here in this pile. It can go either way. And uh, again, if a person's connected, that's crossroads. But they, you know, they may have a reputation to uphold here. So it's not that easy. Eight of Pentacles, five of Pentacles. They could stand to lose finances if they pursue this amazing blessing that, that they do know that they have with you in this connection. They could stand to lose a lot materially. Which, by the way, if their third eye is open and they're starting to see this for what it is now. Maybe in the past they didn't. So very entrenched in that. Um, and maybe they're having to hold back from you because of this. Okay. I'll read it the other way. <laughs> Again, it's um, this person sees you as their end all be all, but maybe they're just not ready to commit. And the reason being is maybe they don't feel like they're quite at that emperor here. Um, eight of Pentacles, five of Pentacles, maybe they need more stability. That's the whole reason why they haven't fully brought this to the Ten of Pentacles with you guys. I mean, we do see the emperor here. We did get the divine masculine energy with the cheetah. So for some of you, like I said, could be. The TF stuff going on. Okay. Either way, this person's at a crossroads. I mean, there's there's a choice. Do I go left or right here? Do I go towards where the higher my higher self is calling me to, or do I stay stuck in something that's unfulfilling and uh, really doesn't serve me too much? Okay. Five Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. My goodness, your person. What is going on here? It's all about like the the balancing the two, making a choice. I don't. Yeah, for a lot, it's probably going to be, unless there's an obstacle, uh, like distance, or maybe they have to travel for work, or maybe they just, you know, circumstances here. You know, other than that, I'm getting that probably a decision between people. Okay. See the two of pinnacles really quick. Temperance. Page of swords, four of pentacles. No. It can also go the other way too. Okay. It's just, it's either talking about your person, what's going on with them, why they haven't like moved this connection forward more quickly, because clearly we know what they feel for you. Um, it's because they're working on finances. They, the page of swords, the four of pentacles, that can definitely be saving, especially when it's read with the five of pentacles. Now, the person's already in a commitment, then this is them. Taking their time, I mean, with temperance, it, de it doesn't seem like a decision is going to be made anytime soon here. Um, however, they are looking into it. So for some of them, they may be looking into saving finances here right now, but actually haven't taken the steps to initiate this ending. Um, Nine of Cups and the High Priestess. Mm. Knowing where the true happiness is, though, their intuition's already told them this, so... It, again, it, I think it came out in the last pick a card. It's kind of futile, right? Let's keep going. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? There it is again. Okay, so temperance again. <laughs> it's about balance, though, right? I, I think that your person maybe failed to, to tell you the truth of what you mean to them, of how this connection has really changed them how it's helped them see the light where I think that before you hear pile two, they were just stuck. They were wearing those, you know, the blinders, they were just going about their, their routine. We see the pentacles, you know, I mean, 
think um I think that's kind of the case. They want to they want to make this right with you, but there is a waiting energy here. So, let's see temperance. Two of swords, my okay. This person needs to take the blindfold off. Eight of swords at the bottom and the knight of wands, the tower and the wheel. Yeah, pal too. If your person refused to grow up here, mm, they know how special you are and it is time. It's time to give to this connection because it does feel like a divine blessing in this person's life. So if you shit on that, I can't imagine the karma that will come come your way. I mean, if the universe gives you a gift, are you not going to take it? You're just going to continue, you know, doing what you want. For others of you where they're, they're in a commitment, I mean, this is just a crossroads. It's like, I don't want to be this knight of wands. I don't want to just half-ass this connection here with pile two. I want to give more, but hey, you know, still have this thing going on. There's a tower, though, and the wheel. So if they're in something, that's not going to last. It's already on shaky foundation, as we can see, if your person's already thinking about this. So mm, don't think there's much much hope of a recovery in that, if that's your scenario. Yeah, nine of swords, four of wands. Literally, it can go. It can go two ways, pile two. Mm. Uh, either way. I don't know. I think this person knows that they're going to either commit to you or leave a commitment that they already have. So what we're seeing right now, and if you're wondering what's going on and why they're not communicating a lot here and why they may have ran is because they feel like there's a big decision, a life-changing decision here when it comes to you in this connection. And I think this person needs some time to process all the negative energies that are around this and, and certain beliefs that they used to have. I mean, we just don't change overnight, right? Um, even though we may, our intuition may be telling us, like, you know, we know the path, it's, it's a progress to get there. So, two of cups. King of cups. Could be dealing with a uh, water sign here. Pisces specifically, since it's next to the hangman. Um, we're in love. Nine of cups at the bottom in the high priestess. And you know what? A lot of them just, they, they can't or they haven't said this out loud. The, I, I get for a lot of you, I don't know that this has been made public, this connection with you. So, for some, going to be taboo for others of you. This person's just not in touch with their feelings, even though they know there's a soul connection here. Okay, undeniable. Definitely undeniable. Um, let's see this. The High Priestess, though, the Nine of Cups. Your complete wish fulfillment here. I just... The moon behind that and the Seven of Wands, but there's a lot left unsaid. That's what I'm saying. This person's guarded. A little bit guarded here, and it's going to be different for everybody. So it's either going to be circumstances, or it's going to be that this person just has a hard time, I don't know, <laughs> expressing themselves. Why have a pentacles? Why is that here? Three of swords. Well, I'll tell you what, pile two, this person, their heart hurts when they're away from you. So this decision, this crossroads, this whatever this is, has really um, done a toll on this person, I think. Um, Come see you, Seven of Pentacles, King of Swords, King of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. Okay, yeah, I'm going to say for the majority of you here, you're, you're going to find that this person's, you know, already in something here. I mean, you would already know this. This isn't going to be a surprise. So don't take it if it doesn't apply because this is general, okay? Um, yeah, I think I think for a lot of you, that's why this is such a hard, uh, rock and hard place that we see them in. Where the hangman? The fool. The two of swords again in temperance because it, look, no action's been taken and it's it's just it's not conducive for anybody here. It's not helping them. They're holding back. They're watching you. Nine of wands, ace of swords. They know the truth and they have known it for a while. And I don't know. I feel like this person is just exhausted about what to do here. Why the fool? Nine of swords. It's like they're having a hard time trusting that if they take this leap, they're not going to just fall straight to the ground and die. <laughs> you know? I mean, Knight of Pentacles, Two of Cups. Okay, they can't wait anymore, though. That's the thing. It's already been a slow process. And we have the Four of Swords, Five of Swords. So they're well aware that I think this overthinking, this overanalyzing of the options has really kind of put a halt on the connection with you, which you know, is the least thing that they want to happen here. All right. Tell me about the uh, Six of Pentacles. King of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. 
Yeah, we got air coming out. Page of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. They know that they've kind of breadcrumbed you guys. And I'm not saying breadcrumb, but they know that they haven't given the way that they want to give, the way that you deserve them to give to you, to this connection. So, you know, what are they going to do here? Because this is just... What's this person going to do? Four of Pentacles. Again, if they are trying to save up money, they're going to continue to do that. But we do have the Three of Cups at the bottom. Page of Cups. Then it looks like there's going to be some sort of reconciliation. Could come out of nowhere with the Page of Cups. But this is an expression of emotions, as small as it may be. And I mean, we're not seeing a lot of cups here. I'm Actually, we only have the Two of Cups. So it's out of this person's comfort zone, and they can't really run away from it, though. So they're going to have to face this, it looks like. Death in the Eight of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. Well, for some of you, yeah. They're going to be connected here, and it looks like they may hold back for a little bit for the time being here. Like I said, I didn't see any, if this is your scenario, Pile 2, um, it's not going to be immediate action here. They're still at the twos, right? But look, they know who you are, and that's the driving force. For them to do this. So what are we missing? Oh, we're missing the two of swords. Well, clearly. Actually, no, we're not. Two of wands. Oh, okay. There's a choice for a whole new way of life with you as opposed to what they knew. Okay. Well, pile two. That's kind of where your person is here. Definitely thinking about you. Definitely feeling the pull to this connection here with you. Again, I think what's going on is they've got some big, big decisions that they're <laughs> that they're kind of uh, mulling over right now. So I definitely wouldn't take it personally. And again, don't wait on this person if they're just, you know, going to sit in this wishy-washy knowing exactly who you are. So if you're not seeing progress here soon, I, what can you do, right? Um, but to focus on yourself because this person clearly, they're kind of still in that limbo state right now. All right. Okay, my loves, well, I'm going to leave it here. I'd love to hear if this resonated with you guys out there. And if you guys enjoyed the reading, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you're interested in personals, all that is below. All right, my loves, until next time. Bye. Hi, Pile 3. Welcome to your reading. All right, let's take a look and find out what's really going on with your person right now. Okay, so keep in mind it's going to be general. Okay, so if the cards are coming out and they're not resonating, feel free to take a look at another pile. All right, Pile 3, what, uh, what's your person's energy towards this connection right now? Oh, we got the panther. So we got fire coming out. All right. <laughs> the black egg. It's the throat chakra. The raccoon. So we've got a lot of the dark energy already here. So let's just keep going. I'm not saying your person's dark, but there's, there's something hidden. Okay. <laughs> let's, let's just keep going. The stingray. And the vulture. Right. Okay. So some somebody is having to purge something here that no longer serves in their life. Look at the color match here. And the only thing that we see, and it's, and it's, it's bookending the communication card here, that throat chakra is the stingray. Somebody needs to grow a backbone and say what they want here. However, they're on the defense. They're not really wanting to do this because it, I think with the vulture, it requires them to, again, clean up something on their side, whatever that is. The raccoon at the center, they're definitely in the shadows. They're watching, but they're not saying a lot. They're wearing a mask. So I, you know, let's see. Why the raccoon? The heck? The king of wands. You know what? He's just been, he's been all over these readings today. It's just three of cups at the bottom and the five of wands. This person has a hard time talking. Wait. Okay. There's something that needs to be said and they're not saying it. And, and. The reason being is they're intimidated to say something here. I don't know if you triggered them and is like meeting you. Now they're forced to look at the, the shit that they need to get rid of in their life and they're not liking it, but yet they know, yet they know that they need to do this. It was probably before you guys even came along, this person knew, and then you just, you just awoke them to the fact. It's like they do try to hide from you though, with the raccoon. It's like they're trying to hide parts of themselves here. They don't feel comfortable with themselves. And so being around you, probably earth angel energy, something like that, pile three, you're triggering them to kind of look at the shadows is what I'm getting. Okay. Yeah. Three of cups, five of wands. This person just uh, six of cups, high priestess. 
Yeah, you could be in little to no contact with this person because, again, for some of you, there was a conversation here and it didn't go well. <laughs> you know, let's see the black egg. Why is that here? Three of wands. They want to talk. I mean, they're sitting here waiting about to do it. They just have to get the backbone up. And for some of them, the stingray can imply here growing the backbone to leave an old way of living for a new way of living, right? And it can be very triggering, especially for the king of wands, you know. Two of wands at the bottom and the hermits. Oh, this person is like watching. They want to talk. They're, it's, they go back and forth here, though. That's what I'm getting. They get to this three. They're almost there. They're about to say something. They're about to message. They're about to reach out. And then they go right back to the shore and they, and they re, and hermit, you know, then they reevaluate. They're really, look, it's the star and the 10 of swords. Yeah, there could have been ending for some of you that this person wants to fix. But yet they're they're in the shadows right now because look, they they still are having a hard time letting go of whatever this is. It could be like some sort of again for some of you if you're already with this person and it ended, maybe you guys had some sort of verbal altercation where you called them out. I don't know. They feel like they lost their star. Um. Yeah, I'm really getting like this back and forth. Why is the panther here? What is this for this person? The nine of swords. Again, there's fears about letting something go, about getting real, about... Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. Knight of Pentacles, Two of Cups. <sighs> Did they walk away or something here? Did somebody walk away <laughs> because they they wanted, I don't know. Let me just see. Let me just see. What is this talking about? Oh. There's communication, clearly. And I think that this person, what, what I'm getting here is that instead of coming to you in a correct way, communicating uh, properly here, that some of them may have walked away. Okay, instead of uh, having that uncomfortable conversation, there's a lot. This person, I don't, I don't think they they have a very easy time speaking their truth. Mm. There's also a lot that I think that you see through here, pile three, and it triggers them, and they know that their normal tactics of hiding feelings. Acting one way, but really feeling a different way doesn't work with you. Why the vulture? It's the Knight of Cups. The Nine of Cups here. The Chariot and the Ace of Wands. Yeah, this person could have habit, had a habit of love bombing here. Like they could have came in, told you guys sweet nothings. You know, not really scratching the surface, right, of how they felt, really keeping their feelings and emotions under wraps here, but love bombing, you know, coming in for the Ace of Wands and then rejecting Four of Cups and the Six of Wands because of, there's an ego. There's an ego, big ego issue already is what I'm getting. Yep. And as I say, that's the Emperor behind that and the King of Wands. I can't make this up. <laughs> you guys could be dealing with the Aries Leo Sag here too. Okay. Yeah. I'm just specific energy pile, pile three. This person had feelings for you. I think that they acted very selfishly in the past. You may have called them out for it and it triggered them. Okay. So why they're hiding from you because not a lot of people do that here. For some of you, I mean, it doesn't, you don't necessarily have to be with this person. Maybe they just have never told you that they have feelings here. They're pissed that they can't for whatever reason. I don't know. It just feels like this person knows they got a big ego and uh, it's not going to work with you. And that's why they're really having a hard time communicating something. Why is Stingray? The hangman. Yeah, somebody needs to get off the fence here. Like, are you in or are you out? Are you going to let, you know, the truth scare you away? Eight of wands and the wheel of fortune. This is communication. This is talking about a truth. That, and it feels like it's been a long time coming. There's the Queen of Wands and the Tower. So we've already seen the King of Wands and, and the Emperor here. This person could have, um, you could have walked away. 
you know, because they refuse to speak their truth to you, left you in the dark, wondering what the hell's going on, left you in the hangman. If that's the case here behind the tower, we have the three of wands and the nine of swords. So it takes us back to this, that they're watching and waiting and wanting to communicate something, but yet still staying out in the shadows. Okay. All right, pal three. Well, specific energy. Let's go to the tarot. Let's find out a little more in depth here. What What is going on with this person for pile three? What's really going on here? There's that star. Okay. The hangman. The four of wands. Let's keep going. The hermit. So three majors out. The page of cups. They want to talk here. It's very clear. They want to reconcile something with you. The hangman and the hermit. But there needs to be a perspective shift. This person does need to do some reflection. You know, they've been resistant to it. But that is what it's going to take care for this person to get around whatever issues they have, whether it be anger issues, you know, ego issues for a lot of them. Why the four of wands? The knight of cups and the ace of wands. Page of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> okay, well, don't let this person fool you here, Pile 3. You know what? If they were defensive and they ran away because you triggered them or something about what you said triggered them, you called out their shadow, they're in love here with you. They've seen this. Knight of Cups, Ace of Wands. And now, look, you got this person like Page of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, the sun, the lovers. Get out of here. Okay? This person, like, wants to lock it down now. They're, they're, they may be on the defense and they may be holding back communication because guess what? They have had a change of perspective. You know, they, I don't know how long it's been for a lot of you, but you know, they had no choice but to sit here in the hangman and the hermit and reflect on a lot of their ish, which, you know, we can see, we can see this. <laughs> so it's almost like it's time for them to come out of the shadows. It's begrudgingly though, because this person still has their, their ego stuff going on. I mean, it's, it, they know they're going to do it. It's like, okay, I need to rebalance something here. I may have said something or acted in a way that really didn't help help my cause here with pile three. Um, it's time to get real. It's time to be honest. Take the mask off here. Wow. Okay. Hmm. It's like they too, they do know that there's something here. I mean, the hermit with the star. And if you know the traditional tarot, the hermit has the star and the lantern. So it's almost like this person's daydreaming about this with you. Like, how did I let, I think they are starting to do some of this self-assessment as hard as it is for this person, you know, they're daydreaming about this though. So they want reconciliation. I think it's just really going to come down to this person. Are they going to say the right words? Are they going to be willing to, to let that guard down? Why is the star here? Aquarius energy, Pisces, Virgo energy out. Eight of Pentacles. Okay. I think that they, again, they, they did try to distract. <laughs> they tried to distract. We saw that earlier, right? Where they, they retreated. They went into hermit mode. It's like they saw the star, but they didn't want to. They know they're going to have to put in work for you. And I think that's the problem. This person prides themselves on um, being the top dog is what I'm getting. And I think that you, Pile 3, set the standard really high for them. And so it would be a little bit of that ego blow if they didn't meet that standard with you, you know, and then their, their whole thing got, <laughs> their cover got blown, all this, you know, that they can't really see the eight of Pentacles. Why is it here? It's the chariot, the three of wands and the nine of swords. This person wants this back. They want another opportunity here. They know they dropped the ball. They know it's on them. You know, are you going to give this person another chance? No, seven of cups, ten of wands. They don't know either. <laughs> okay, they're working on it. I feel like for some of them, they are working on an apology. Like I said, begrudgingly though. It's like pulling teeth, but they know that they're going to have to do it. All right, why is the hangman here? The tower. Mm. This person's had a tower while they've been stuck up in limbo about what to do here. Really evaluating their selves, how they came to this connection with you. Um, for some of them, how they treated you. Scorpio energy. So we've got, we've got a mix here. Why the tower? King of swords, because they were guarded. Could be dealing with the air sign here. They got a real big problem of, of just letting those walls down. Knight of pentacles, two of cups. 
<laughs> it's like behind this person's tough exterior here. They've always known that they were, that you were the one, the devil and the queen of pentacles. And a lot, look, listen, a lot of them had this little bit of resentment for you. Pile three is what I'm picking up on. They, because, because it made them question themselves it made it shine your your light made them have to shine a light on themselves okay it called out the the shadow side that they hadn't acknowledged that they were trying to mask that they didn't want to look at um temperance in the eight of wands yeah i'm getting for a lot of you here there was something here that happened this person acted out of um i don't know they acted out of fear ultimately is what it came down to their own fears not that you did anything here i don't even care if you call this person out on their crap it's it's just the fact that you make them feel like they um have a standard to meet and this person just already thought that they were like you know <laughs> the bee's knees over here and now they've realized that you know what maybe they're not because you're different pile three they actually do have to meet your standard here if they want to be with you yeah, you make them work for it here, and I get a lot of them just, um, mm, they had a hard time with that. Why the Four of Wands? The Five of Wands, so that's conflict here. You know, they, they want this with you. A lot of them ran away. A lot of them, if you were in a connection here where it was going good, and this person, again, once triggered, may have done something stupid and could have caused a separation. Why the Five of Wands? Page of Cups. Yeah, they want to fix this with you. This person, whoever this is, what what what's going on with them now is, I don't know if they're in the tower right now, getting that perspective shift here, doing that introspection. They're trying to figure out a way to resolve past conflict with you. So whatever that means for you, Pile 3, for a lot of you, it is going to be that they said something that they wish they could take back. Just kidding. Okay. Why the hermit? Goodness. Yeah, there's something big going on here for your person here. We got five majors out. This is death and transformation. The tower with the hangman. Something's going on. They, Whoever this is, they don't want to lose you. Let's go back to your animal spread really quick. No. They're cleaning it up begrudgingly. Like I said, I, they don't want to, but they are. You're the one and they need to say it. They can't hide in the shadows anymore here. They've done that long enough. Time to get real. Time to look at all the dark and also acknowledge the light too, because we all have both. And it's just a fact. And the longer we deny that, the more cognitive dissonance we live in and we continue to, you know, stay in the same programs, the same patterns, and we don't really look at the bigger issues. And that's that's where I think you put this person and it's they, they had a hard time. Okay. But it, it looked to me, honestly, pile three, something big has happened internally with this person that I don't know that you're aware of. So page of cups, nine of wands. It's been a long time coming, you know, also too, a lot of them let the ego stop them from coming back and making an apology or giving you an explanation or making things right with you. They're starting to see that, you know, they're, they're really starting to see now, Hey, I may have really caused irreparable damage here. Now, what do I do to fix this? You know, if this person denied a, a destined connection here, it's not, you know, it didn't work out for them. <laughs> it actually triggered them into going into something that they they probably put up opposition to, but mm, the choice that they made put them there anyway. So whatever, you know, this person, <laughs> they needed it. They needed a wake up call. Wine star. Ten of swords. And the Five of Swords, yep, it feels like there was an ending here, and this person desperately wants to reconcile. It's like they've had epiphanies, they know what they did. A lot of you never thought this day would come, because, again, this person was so resistant to uh, seeing their flaws here. Okay. Why the Hermit? The Four of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles. The Tower and the Knight of Cups. Nine of Swords in the Chariot. Yeah. they If they had fear of commitment, if that was the big thing that you may have called them out on here, 
if that was what their shadow side was stopping them from pursuing this connection, that's what's causing the tower because they held back when they knew that you were the king of pentacles or the queen of pentacles and they were the king of pentacles, but yet they put some sort of stigma on you being the bad guy here. I mean, not for everybody, but I'm definitely picking up a layer on that. So some of them could have like resented the fact that they fell for you and made you feel like the bad guy. And you're like, what did I do? <laughs> like, I'm just, I'm just existing. Okay. Yeah. You triggered this person. You triggered this person a whole lot. I'm just getting like a lot of, a lot of stuff going on here with them. It's the Knight of Cups, Nine of Swords, Chariots. All they want to do is come back around here. Pile three, whoever this is. Tell us about the tower. The Four of Cups. They tried to ignore this. It didn't. It didn't work. They put off doing doing the the self work here, and now they're forced to do it anyway. <laughs> so, <laughs> Page of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. This person is now all in pile three. I don't know when they come back around here. I'm just gonna say, get ready. The fives are temporary, so I think this person really knows what they want. I would be expecting a conversation here that honestly, for some of you, will shock the shit out of you. I'm just saying, like, you you would think that this person, it would be the last person to actually do this. But with the cards that we're seeing here, whoever this is, uh, they know what they're going to do. So I'm just saying. <laughs> All right, Pile 3, specific message. I'm going to leave that one here today. Love to hear if this resonated with anybody out there. And if you guys enjoyed the reading, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you're interested in personals, all that is below. All right, my loves, I will talk to you next time.